Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Pisces, September 27, 2022. Today's energies are better for observation and reflection. There may be some confusion surrounding goals, instructions, and conversations early today with a Venus Neptune opposition. Watch for sugar coating things. It's probably best to defer important decisions and discussions to a better time. Focusing or concentrating may not be easy, whether you're distracted by interruptions or feelings that are hard to make sense of for the time being. The more you talk about a particular plan or try to get an answer from someone, the more confused you could become with this energy. It may be best to take a break. A new moon will occur tomorrow, helping to redirect you. Today's transits are good for learning and processing. You are not ready to commit to any one activity or endeavor, preferring to dabble and enjoy yourself as you do. Beware the energy of today's stars. As Venus orbits within your solar third house of communications and gets punch drunk in an opposition with mysterious Neptune in your solar ninth house, your ideas could be called into question. Beware of everything that you write, post, or send, as it could be taken the wrong way and ultimately lead to tarnishing your reputation. Seeing eye to eye with a sweetheart or long-term partner could be like a game of chess. Someone may also be approaching you with a highly deceptive influence if you are single, so do your best to see through the smoke screens. You have an adept intuition, but even that could be lost today. What do you believe in? You may have a clearer perspective of what you believe about your career path when Venus in Virgo opposes Neptune retrograde in Pisces. Thoughtful conversations may put something about your professional journey or development into perspective, especially the commitments that influence your career path. What you once believed could be subject to change under this eye-opening opposition. Make sure that you are actively listening to what others have to say as their two cents could influence your views or beliefs about your career path. The moon's departure from your income sector yesterday was always going to leave you with a sharp nose for money but not the level of awareness. This was not only the moon's last alignment with the dwarf planet Ceres before she leaves next week but the only one in four years while she is on her own. As Ceres is less focused on the money and more on your needs and priorities, this leaves you with a new sense of awareness. There is power in knowing what you want, but it's not always easy. Ever spend too long looking at the menu in a restaurant? The waiter keeps coming, and pretty soon you order something just to get it over with? Now pretend you're the waiter. The best way to find what you want is to know what you need. If you know you need nutritious root vegetables into your diet, your want list instantly becomes more manageable and the power is in your hands to decide. Starting in the next few days, you may be able to stabilize a fluctuating situation and get some good results in your material life. But today, you will have to content yourself with following your objectives and keeping a low profile. You're not as open as you should be and every person you meet will make you realize how much your behavior needs to evolve and how much you need to be questioning things. You don't like newness as much as you should and prefer being in comfortable and habitual situations rather than attempting to get some newness into your life. Having the moon in your communication sector during Venus last weekend here is a huge advantage, especially as it comes just as Mercury has retrograde back in for a double dip visit. With Venus and Mercury, the planets of love and communication just days away from not only aligning but forming a friendly aspect to Pluto, in retrograde motion in your relationship sector, the moon is getting things rolling. This is helping to give your heart, emotional responses, relationships, the past and unsaid words a voice. Having the moon not only in your communication sector but at a friendly aspect to Pluto, as he moves into his final two weeks in retrograde motion in your relationship sector is just one of the advantages today. An alignment between the moon and Venus comes just as the planet of love has reached the last weekend of her mission to give your relationships a voice and as Mercury has retrograde back in to give the past and unsaid words a voice. Our eyes in the sky. The moon enters airy Libra today and connects with the sun, forming a new moon. This is a strong test of your stamina and fighting power, 
and you could feel drained at times. You might need to roll out the yoga mat and take a child's pose at some point today. People could be acting the fool around you simply because they aren't equipped to handle the flood of emotions. Be prepared for a few to display some bad behavior. If you want the same kind of respect, cash, and admiration your idols enjoy, you'll have to put in the time and hard work to bring your ideas to their attention. Meanwhile, mind the way you dress and express yourself in the world. While others may perceive you one way, you're tempted to take a new path to keep them guessing. This is not a day for the faint of heart. Try to address your work and obligations with the understanding that everyone is feeling the weight of the world and unable to fully process the magnitude of what they're experiencing. Just take it slow and steady, and try your best to keep your eye on the ultimate goal in your life. We all get a reprieve in the evening. In the morning, the Virgo moon aligns with retrograde Mercury, making us chatty. Although we have much to say, we should be re-evaluating our ideas instead of attempting to prove anything to anyone now. Conversations will help us to hone our talking points and understand concepts from new perspectives. However, it is just as likely that we will take offense to differences of opinion. Try to keep an open mind, even if your beliefs remain unchanged. The moon begins its void of course following this aspect's perfection, suggesting we avoid starting new projects. Focus on work that is already in progress or take it easy. It will be easier to communicate, and job searches and salary negotiations should go more smoothly. If you want to make more money, don't think about what you don't have. Instead, think about what you can change in your life and the lives of others with what you earn now. What counts is the people you touch, not what you own. If you've wanted to make some changes to the way you earn or save money, this is the time to start or increase your efforts. Send out more resumes, join networking groups, or set up a savings plan. Mid-morning, the moon enters Libra, ending its void of course. Over the next two days, we are in a peacekeeping mood. A desire to keep matters pleasant and surface level can cause us to come across as superficial. Although achieving harmony is our primary intent, we should ensure that its pursuit doesn't lead us to make self-effacing choices.